Hi everyone, I wanted to give you an update on the uh, making the rings out of vintage earrings and buttons. This is a uh, ring case that I found at uh, Joann's. Comes in really handy for all the different sizes. I believe it was about $9.99, but they had a really good sale. I think it was 40% off, so I picked that up. You can see all the different rings. This is a button. Most of these are earrings. I'm going for the vintage earrings, a lot of rhinestone, a lot of aurora borealis. This is a vintage clip. Uh, these are all mostly clip. This is a pin and I just removed the pin backing. There's the black button. Uh, these are, and this is actually earrings. And I believe this is a pin. But I wanted to show you, you can even go small. You can go tiny if you want, if you don't like the big look. I, I happen to like the big look right now. This one was a pair of uh, earrings from the 80s. I thought that was really cute. This is just a little funny thing that I made. I have a thing for spiders, so I just wanted to try that out for Halloween. It does, it's really, really big on your hands. And I also wanted to show you some of the things that you can get out there. Uh, first of all, I did find some ring blanks at Joann's again. Uh, they were $7.99. There's 21 ring blanks. And they come in different colors. So you can get a uh, black, a gunmetal, and a silver. And these are just some of the earrings that I'm finding on my search that I think are gonna make really nice rings. Some pretty blue. And I'm just gonna remove these and then using the glue, remove the backings. And then using some of my E6000, I'm going to attach to this. Some of the, and you can find these very, very reasonable. The, these, uh, this set comes from several different places. I found a beautiful uh, vintage antique shop in my area, and there's a jewelry place in there. So I picked up some, but a lot of these I just got on eBay, different lots. Lan Van's new fall collection is heavy with rose jewelry, so I just had to get these. I think I'm gonna try and change the color. I think I wanna make them a little bit more black before I put them on. But you can see, you can, you can do anything. This is one of the earrings that I've already removed the back. This one is a pin, and I think I'm gonna have to get a file because now on some of the better made jewelry, you can't get rid of these. So I'm gonna have to get a metal file to file that down. But I think that's gonna make a great ring. So that's it. I wanted to show you that I'm still going strong with the rings. It's a little obsession of mine right now. And wanted to share them with you. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.